four people earn $180 for working in an after school program. If they divide this money up equally, how much will each person receive? So we want to divide $180 into four equal groups so that each of the four people can have the same amount. So we want to divide 180. We want to divide 180 by 4. By 4. We want to take 180 divided by 4. Now, most of us don't know this off the top of our heads, so we need to solve for it. We need to do a little bit of division. So another way of writing this exact same expression is to write 4 divided into divided into 180. And when you write it like this, it's easier to do it if either of them actually has more than one digit, especially if the number we're dividing into has more than one or two or three or four digits. So let's do it. So the first thing you say is, well, does 4 go into 1? Well, no, 4 does not go into 1. It's larger than 1. So you could put a 0 up here. But instead of doing that, let's just say, let's just move on to the right and say, well, OK, it doesn't go into 1. Does 4 go into 18? Well, 4 times 4 is 16. So that goes into 18 at least 4 times. 4 times 5, let me write this down. 4 times 4 is equal to 16. So that goes into 18. 4 times 5 is equal to 20. So that does not go into 18. So this is going to go into 18 four times. 4 times 4 is 16. And now we subtract. We essentially find the remainder here. 18 minus 6 is 2. Now we want to bring down this 0. Because we really said 4 goes into 180 40 times, because it's in the tens place. 40 times 4 is 160. 180 minus 160 is 20. That's why we bring down the 0. But if you just think about the process, you say, OK, what's the, lar what's the smallest? If I just go with the 1, 4 doesn't go into it. So let me move on. So I'll let me look at the 1 and the 8, 18. 4 goes into that 4 times. 4 times 4 is 16. Subtract from 18, you get a 2. Bring down the 0. Now 4 goes into 20 how many times? Well, we just wrote it over here. 4 times 5 is equal to 20. 4 times 5 is equal to 20. So 4 goes into 20. 5 times. 5 times 4 is 20. You subtract, and you have no remainder left over. So 180 divided by 4 is equal to 45. So if these four people were to split the money equally, they'll each get $45.